everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Frankie. I have got Crohn's disease and a stoma because of my Crohn's disease. And as you'll be able to tell by today's title, this video is all about what I have in my infusion bag. So let's get stuck in. This is my infusion bag. This is what I take with me. This is from Kath Kidston. It's a really good size. Um, the first time I went, I didn't take a lot with me and I really regret it. You kind of learn from your first try. But, um, yeah, you definitely need to take a nice big bag full of things that are going to keep you entertained, keep you hydrated and keep you, you know, keep you fed and watered, you know, important things like that. So yeah, that bag is the perfect size. It was between 20 to 25 pounds in the sale at Christmas and I would try and link something similar in the description below. For people having infusions, these bags are definitely the way to go because they don't get too heavy, they're a really good size and yeah, they keep everything you need. So let's get stuck in. This is my iPad mini. I love my iPad mini. It's now on its way out. I think, I really, really hope it lasts as long as I'm having infusions because I couldn't live without it now. Um, I am lucky enough to have internet on it when I'm at the hospital. So um, I watch things like Jane the Virgin, Once Upon a Time, um, Made in Chelsea, um, what else do I watch? Bake Off because that's now Netflix. Um, basically I watch anything that involves a TV programme over a film purely because I don't think I can really concentrate on a film for that long. At least with a TV programme or even a YouTube video. It means I have to wake my brain up again to try and find something else or move on to the next episode or just, you know, it, mean, yeah, it means I'm not sitting there getting bored for a while because I do find f movies quite boring when I'm not doing anything. I'm the sort of person that has to be doing something whilst I'm watching a film. So yeah, iPad is essential for being able to keep yourself occupied. I'm really sorry I've got such a stuffy nose because I've got a cold and it's really, really driving me insane. Anyone will know if they've got Crohn's or colitis or whatever, if they're having treatment that makes their immune system go down. It's so easy getting a cold and it literally has been driving me mad for the last two days. My th I woke up with a really sore throat on Sunday, had a sing song at a fun day and then literally yesterday it was like no streaming my voice kept going and fading and it was really annoying and today it's just like stuffed nose. So brilliant, Br great for when I'm trying to film this video for the, about the fifth time. Anyway, let's keep going. So the next thing are some headphones. These are a pair of Sony headphones that I take with me. Um, I really like these because they're very noise cancelling so any background noise from other people gets easily discarded because I've got these beauties on my head. The only thing I have to say about them is they're quite difficult to get on and off when you're trying to, you know, when you've got a cannula in, they're quite hard to try and pull open but I managed to get them on my head anyway so it's not massively a down thing. But I'm um, compared to what I was using before, I was using my iPhone headphones, just the little ones that are stuck in your ears. And after a while, especially if I'm sitting there for between two and a half to three hours, I found my ears getting really sore and that's just not comfortable for that long a time. So yeah, I definitely would recommend getting some over headphones, over headphones, over ear, on ear headphones. Yeah, I'd recommend getting a pair of these because they're really useful. The next thing is my purse. This is just a purse from Primark. It was about three pounds, I believe. Um, I love this. It is perfect for fitting in cards and coins and cash but my top tip to anyone who's having an infusion if you're allowed to drive yourself then I would recommend getting the park and ride because you don't know how long you're gonna be so in here I always keep my park and ride ticket and obviously my change to pay for the park and ride in the first place but also I like to make sure I've got oh this stuff no it's so bad in. I like to make sure that I've got money there just in case I get hungry on the way in or out of the hospital because there is a vending machine just by the entrance slash exit of the, of the wing of the hospital that I'm on for my infusion. So yeah, it's always good to have some money on you just in case you need some. The next thing is very apt for today. It's some tissues. So I always take some tissues with me because um, I don't like moving around while I'm having my infusion. I don't like the thought of bending in a way and then stopping the infusion because it means I'll have to go to somewhere else. Um, so yeah, tissues are always good to have because on days like this, when you've got a cold, um, tissues come in very handy and yeah, there's only so much you can say about a packet of tissues, isn't there? <laughs> These wipes are from Aldi. I find them really useful for if any blood comes from where my cannula has been taken out because it has happened before. It means I can quickly wipe it up with a nice anti-back wipe. Um, yeah, they're brilliant. And also, if I do have a stoma bag leak, 
it means I can wipe around the area, not actually next to my stoma because they wouldn't stick with this, but the area where the bag is going to be sticking to, if that's a mess as well, then these are really handy to have. The next thing I've got is this. It is a little bag that I got from a lady called Amy and she said she sends packages out to new ostomates and I find this really useful to take all my stuff in because it, as you can see it's nice and small but it also fits in everything really nicely. So here it is a bag that I've already cut for anyone that I know who hasn't seen one before. This is essentially what goes on my tummy. It's not that big as you can see from my hand so it's the perfect size just to fold that like this and then it'll go inside. I also have a salts moldable um, barrier ring. I have been started to use these recently, these are new and I had really bad problems with leakage. If you look at my blogs gone by you'll be able to see that I've got a, few, a couple of posts about leakages. Um, even the the professional, I was going to say, even the um, long-term stoma, pa stoma patient can get a leakage. So um, yeah, that is why I've got these, because it has stopped it. Um, I really like these, they've got aloe in them, so yeah, they're, it's really good for the skin. And also in here I've got some dry wipe cloths, and I've also got a black disposable bag, sort of like the sort of bag you throw, like you pick up your dog's poo in, something like that, you know. Um, but yeah, that's all in there just in case anything happens. I do also like to take with me a pair of leggings and, and a change of underwear just in case I do have a leakage and it goes everywhere. It means I can change my pants and I can change my trousers because I don't like getting back into something that I know has had a bit of an explosion in it. The next thing I have is something to pamper myself when I'm having my infusion. This is a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Hand, Knee and Elbow Cream and this was actually given to me by my two lovely friends Gareth and Alana when I was in hospital when I was having my operation and um, I do find my hands get very dry, I get very dry lips, very dry skin so um, yeah I find this really helpful and I like to be able to sort of just rub a little bit on my hands when I'm sat there because I'm sat there for a while so it's nice just to be able to pamper myself a little bit whilst I'm sitting there. Now this next one some people may think is a little bit excessive with the amount I actually bring with me but you know when you have a stoma you'll get it or if you have a stoma you'll get it. Um, I've got three body mist slash sprays. These are crucial for me. I do not like leaving anywhere smelling. I do not like having a smelling body. I always have to put perfume on before I leave anywhere. So um, yeah, I find this really crucial. Um, this one's just an impulse one. I'm not a massive fan of aerosol so I don't like using this one too much. Thankfully it's nearly run out and I won't be repurchasing purely because I don't like aerosols like this. Um, next one is a body mist slash spray type thing. This is just a body fantasy signature cher Japanese cherry blossom from Superdrug. I remember these were super super cheap and I ordered these not long after I came out of hospital the first time round because I knew I needed some sprays like this. I did also get the candy floss one which I have to say is my favourite between the two but this is the one that I've got in my bag. And this is the final one out of the three. This one is um, called Bohemia and it's from Marks and Spencers. It was a, in a little gift package from my auntie a couple of years ago at Christmas. And it's the perfect size, as you can see, for travel. This one I don't really use too much when I'm out and about if I have got one like this. Purely because this one's 25mm and this one is 94mm. So it means I'd rather use this one over this one just to make this one last a little bit longer for when I have a smaller bag with me, not like my giant cat Kirsten one. So yeah, really handy to have. So that's everything from the main body, main body of the bag. So I'm going to go into the little zip at the back. There are only two compartments in this bag: the main, the big one, and then one compartment right at the back. So yeah, this is what's all in. This is everything that's in that little pocket. So I've got this hand sanitizer, which is just a Carex bubble gum one. I love the smell of this. I've had this for so long. Probably should get a new one, but um, hand sanitizer is perfect, especially when you're in the hospital. Um, obviously, keep your hands clean all the time because of bacteria. Um, another thing I always have with me is some Vaseline. This one is the cocoa butter. Um, I think I like cocoa butter. It's, you know, whoops. <laughs> this one is the only lip balm that really, really works on my lips. I do have a, several others, including the Karma's po cocoa butter one, which I have to say does work. But this is the best one because it's Vaseline. It does the job. It's brilliant. Um, I also have another lip balm in here. This one is the Sugar Baby Vita Plus Skin Vita Lip Lip Balm. This was actually something I won in a giveaway from Lydia Ann and 
it's really really good it's really thick so it is good for your lips but for convenience I, pre I prefer this one but this one is a lot thicker and doesn't doesn't go everywhere when you're wearing it whereas this one does sometimes so they both are good for different blah, 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 blah. they both are good for different reasons and finally in this section of the bag I've got my keys let's see if I can be any noisier shall we um on this I've got my important radar key anyone who's got Crohn's or colitis needs one of these I, I swear you have to have one of these it's so vital for situations when you are caught short um I when I not long come after come out of hospital when everything was still trying to settle I had a moment in Truro when I really really desperately needed the toilet and it was so annoying because someone who wasn't disabled was in the toilet and I could have gone mad I actually was so annoyed but um I think I'm going to talk about disabled toilets separately because I think a lot of people don't think that people like me should be using them but in my opinion we definitely should so I'm gonna leave that for another video because I could talk about that for a while um and that's not part of what's in my bag is it so yeah that's everything that's in that in that pocket so um, yeah, keys from that pocket. Something else I do take with me, but it doesn't always go in my bag because like it is now, it's full of squash. Not really full, it's half full of squash. Um, I always take a full bottle with me of squash. If it's this one, um, I really like this bottle, but I kind of prefer my Hydrate Mate purely for the reason of trying to unscrew it. It's quite difficult when you've got a cannula and you've got to try and use one hand. Whereas my Hydrate Mate's got a little spout that I can just pop up and then I can just drink out of it really easily. But this one, I really like. I've had this for a really long time. Um, you can get all the way to the bottom with this one, whereas with the Hydrate Mate, you can't always get right to the bottom. But um, yeah, it's always really important to have a drink with you when you're having your infusion done, because um, if you're like me, I get really low blood pressure when I've not had enough to drink. So if I'm sitting there for two hours, and especially having something pumped into me that could, fault, could alter my levels, um, I always like to make sure I'm hydrated. I do also get a cup of tea when I'm there, but just in case that doesn't happen, I always like to make sure I've got something with me because staying hydrated is very important, especially when you've got a condition like I've got. So that's it. That's everything that's in my infusion bag. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see anything else, again, let me know in the comments. I will try and leave links to as much as I can in the description. And you can also check out the link in my link in the description for my blog which is confessions of a bag lady i have got over 40 posts on that now which is insane and yeah i'm quite nervous putting this up but you know as much i want to spread as much awareness as i possibly can and i want to help as many people who end up in my position as i possibly can because it is shit let's be honest um so thank you very much for watching i will see you again when i do my next video bye